Hey everyone, welcome back to the next Pi game tutorial. And this one, I know I've said this in the last three videos that we were going to work on the collision detection between the player and the enemies. And we're actually going to be doing that in today's video. So let's get started on that. So let's go into main and underneath our check collision code, we're going to do it pretty much the exact same way as we did between the bullets and the enemies. So let's access the collided uh, variable and we're going to set pygame.sprite.group collide to check between collision between the sprite group which contains our player and the enemy spawner group or sorry enemy spawner enemy group and so this is checking collision between the player which is in the sprite group and all the enemies on the screen um, and for the next two arguments which is do you want to kill either one of the groups no i want to handle that myself because i want the enemy to go through its explosion animation and i want the, the player i don't want to kill because he has health so i want to handle all of that in its own class so uh we can do four player and enemy in collided dot items which will return the player and the enemy that have collided with each other uh, enemy dot zero or sorry, enemy index zero, which is the enemy we collided with. I want to run its, uh, well, I want to set its HP to zero. So we'll do enemy dot uh, HP equals zero. And then we'll run its get hit method. Oh, wait, actually, hold on one second. We can do enemy zero dot yeah, we'll set its HP to zero and run its get hit method. That way, it knows it'll see its HP as zero or less, and then run all the necessary code to get rid of it. So get hit. So that'll do that, and then player. Um, we need to check to make sure that if the enemy's invincible, uh, otherwise every frame that the they're colliding on, it's going to keep hitting the player and subtracting the player's health. So we have to do an if not enemy is invincible. So that if the enemy is not invincible, uh, player dot get hit. So this should work. We need to write this method because the ship object doesn't have a get hit method. So we'll do that right here. So def get hit, and when it gets hit, it's self dot hp. Uh, minus equals one and I don't know if I actually said it before earlier I made a I actually made two more variables that our ship class has it has a HP value and a lives value uh, I assigned three to both of them so it's HP goes down by one and let's print to the screen self dot HP every time it gets hit just to make sure this works All right, so it's not getting into this get hit method for some reason. So let's go to main. All right, so what's happening when they collide? Uh, the enemy's HP is set to zero, and it's running the get hit function. That's all working correctly because we are seeing the enemy explode. Now, when the enemy's get hit method is run, it sets the enemy to invincible. Oh, that's why it's not getting in here, because the enemy is invincible, and it, it can't be invincible before it runs this. So we actually need to put this before that code. So we'll put this at the top. And then after it hits the player, then it sets the enemy to invincible. So this should work. And we should see it print two and then one and then zero at the bottom. Yeah, two, one, zero. And it'll go in the negative because we haven't checked for that yet. So let's fix that. Ship.py. So after we decrease HP by one, we check to see if it equals zero. So if self.hp is less than or equal to zero, self.hp equals zero. So we just keep it at zero. And then what we'll eventually do in the future, we're gonna do self dot uh, death. We're gonna make a death function, and this is what's gonna decrease the amount of lives and put the next extra man on the screen. So self.death. Uh, and for right now, we'll just set the HP back to 3 equals 3. And uh, we need to decrease the amount of lives. So self.lives minus equals 1. 
and then you'll have something something else that says if self dot lives is less than or equal to zero then just keep it for right now we'll just keep it at zero but we're eventually going to write some logic that'll say game over on the screen uh, so this should work so let's go ahead and print self dot lives on the screen as well so every time he gets hit we'll see his hp when his hp gets to zero it resets his uh, hp back to three and decreases the amount of lives he has so two hp one hp zero hp well it went back up to three or that's three lives two one and you'll see one, three. Actually, let's format this so I can read it a little bit easier. Uh, an F string. Uh, so, HP. All right. So let's let's print it out like that so I can actually read it a little easier. HP one, lives two, so it reset his lives and set his HP back to three, two, one, so it should now say lives one, lives is good, HP's three again, HP's two, one, lives is zero, all right, so all that works. Um, so this is this is just a real quick video. In the next one, we're actually going to get the health bar to decrease. Uh, that one might take a little time. I've actually got to figure out the proper way or the, the way I want to do it. Um, and it might take me a little while. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. And on the next one, we'll get the, uh, the health bar to actually reflect how much HP he has. All right, see you guys in the next one.